Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where we're going to talk about the muscles of the dorsum of your foot. And right now you might be asking, what is the dorsum of my foot? Well, this is what we call, this is a fancy word I would say, that we use in anatomy to describe the back of your foot. Now, what is exactly the back of your foot, you might be asking right now? Well, if you think about it, there are two main areas that are usually discussed in terms of regions where we find structures within your foot. One of them is the plantar region, which is the bottom side, let's say, of your foot that connects to the floor when you're walking. This is the plantar side. And then you have this one now seen here on this image right here. This is the back of your foot, which is found superiorly and what we usually call, in a fancy manner, uh, the dorsum of the foot. Now, what we're going to be doing is discussing the different muscles that we find here, and I have good news for you. This is going to be a short tutorial because there are only two muscles of the dorsum of the foot. Now, these muscles lie within a flat fascia called fascia dorsalis pedis, or the dorsal fascia of the foot, and is found like the muscles on the back of your foot. In this area, the, these muscles or the bellies of these muscles will form the surface of the lateral dorsum of your foot, so you can palpate them on the lateral side of the back of your foot. And before I list these muscles, I want to briefly talk about the innervation that is now seen highlighted in green. This is going to be the nerve that is going to be innervating the two muscles of the dorsum of the foot. And this nerve is known as the deep perineal nerve, so L5 to S1, and is responsible for the innervation of the two muscles that you find on the back of your foot. Now, as promised, I'm going to be listing these muscles, and here they are. The two muscles are known as the extensor digitorum brevis muscle, and the other one is the extensor hallucis brevis muscle. Starting off with the very first one here, the extensor digitorum brevis, this muscle has an origin point, and the origin point is going to be the calcaneus. Now, like every muscle in the human body, you have to talk about the different insertion points for the extensor digitorum brevis. Now, this muscle, as you can clearly see here on this image, divides into three muscle bellies whose tendons insert at the dorsal aponeurosis, as well as the bases of the middle phalanges of the second to fourth toes. And you can clearly see here, this video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.